Hi guys, this is KidLink77, and welcome back. Let's play Dragon Warrior 7. In the last episode, we discovered a new world. And in this world, we can apparently change our classes at the Dharma Temple. So we are going to go ahead and do that. Um, now, we've explored the area and everything. I've gone, you know, and saved and stuff. And uh, Why don't we go ahead and, you know, make our way up to Dharma Temple? I mean, nowhere else we can really go. And to get there, we need to go a little bit north. I'm going to avoid the mountains for the most part. And there are some new enemies here, so I will hopefully show you some. Uh, is this one, I guess? Uh, no, these are fairy rats, but... They're pretty easy, so we'll just go, go ahead and, you know, take them out ASAP. Yeah, there we go. Okay, cool. Um, now, I did a little bit of uh, practice today, and um, the next place that we go to does have a bank. Uh, so if you didn't go to the bank for some reason, don't worry, but you want to keep kind of an eye out for stuff. Now, I fought the enemies here because we get a level up. I already knew that we are going to get one, and Mary Bell uh, is level 13, 10 HP, and you know, 6 MP. That's really awesome. I like that. So she has more MP than Gabo does now. And I think Gabo will get a level up too. Yeah, he does too. Okay, cool. Yeah, they're about the same. So, um, he's still only level 7 and she's like level 13. I don't know if he's gonna gain levels any higher, but yeah, he gets 4 MP and uh, 5 HP, which is okay, I guess. And decent strength and intelligence, I guess. But nothing for Aris. He'll just have to wait. Mm, right. So, those weren't new per se, but we did get a level up and there are some enemies here that can be dangerous. Uh, is this another one? Yeah, all right, we get Slime Knights here. Um, I love the spelling on that, that's awesome. Um, feel free to use as much magic as you want right now. Um, go <laughs> go wild, doesn't really matter here. You'll see why in a moment. Uh, I really don't like this area because it's very, it can be very difficult and very strenuous and you guys hit really hard, so uh, be careful, um, you know of everything pretty much here. Uh, oh, that could hurt. Nope. R617? Yow. That's not good. Alright, so. Uh, we've only, we haven't even taken out one yet, and it's been two rounds. That is terrible. I don't, I think Maribel's been, like, attacking the wrong thing. Oh, yeah. Alright. And please don't kill Maribel. Jeez, look at that. Yeah, I think everyone's been, like, attacking different ones or something. I don't know. I haven't really noticed... Alright, so Mary Bell, you go ahead and cast the blaze, and Gabo, you go ahead and fight too. Can we kill at least one of them? Yeah, alright, cool. He does have an animation that's really cool where, um, I think what he'll do is he'll get off the slime, grab the slime, and then hit you with it. And that's like his critical attack. It's really funny. I don't want to see it right now because he could probably kill us, but... You know, it's there, so probably we can take him out now. All right, cool. There we go. That took longer than it should have, and that was pretty dangerous. Um, I think there are enemies that might be able to form into, like, a, a completely new monster, so be wary of them, too. Uh, if I can, I'll show them to you, but for the moment, we'll just, you know, continue doing this. Now, uh, he didn't get hurt that much, but we're going to go ahead and heal him up, because why not? It never hurts to be safe. All right, so, and over here is the temple. All right. So what about you? Welcome to Dharma. If you wish to change your classes, please speak to the high priest at the altar. All right. Well, we'll uh, we'll do that in a moment. So uh, why don't we go ahead and talk to the guys here? I don't want to go upstairs. This is Dharma Temple. People visit us in search of pursuits that match their personalities. I guess we can't come up here. Uh, you can save here if you want to, but yeah, we already saved. We're fine. All right. What about you? Uh, Dharma is a somewhat large and empty-looking place. Uh, before I came here, I heard that this place was busy and lively. Yeah, it doesn't look very busy at all, and uh, you guys are blocking that, huh? All right, what about you? When I decided not to change my class and tried to leave, they stopped me. The priest suggested I, um, or suggests I change a profession, uh, but I just want to stick with being a merchant. Merchants are kind of useless in this game, so I don't really recommend that. After coming so far to Dharma, how can you say that? Well, perhaps, I, perhaps, but I feel like being a merchant matches my personality best. There's no need to worry. You won't lose any of your abilities when you change classes. Oh, that's good. Please tell the high priest which profession you aspire to. You need feel no shame or reluctance here. All right, well, that's good to know that we keep everything, I guess. All right, well, let's uh, come on down here next and do this before you do anything else. I recommend that. Just, just do it. Over there is a very friendly looking floor. We're not gonna... Well, I'll show you, you know, what happens if you touch that later, but... Ooh, 50 gold. Nice. Okay. Um, so let's, uh... I don't think there's anything else in here, but... 
you know, just in case. All right, so, uh, nothing in there. Um, what's in here? Let me see. I want to go inside. All right, and, ooh, we got more merchandise to break. Awesome. Okay, uh, let's see. Ooh, a treasure chest. Anything in here? It is, ooh, all right, we get a straight seed. We'll probably get it to ours, and yeah, you can't go in there. It's, you know, everything's locked, so. No go, sorry. That floor, you know, that'll hurt you pretty much, and yeah. That's what that floor is. A floor will kill you. <laughs> I don't know how it works, but whatever. All right, and in here, we get nothing, and in here, we get something. Uh, pick up a black notebook with a blank cover. It can name detailed personal uh, evaluation of each and every priest. Oh, okay. Which priest did, uh... Uh, touched a little Johnny earlier today, huh? No. They're, they're not all like that, but, you know. Alright, so, anyway, in here we get more moolah. And in this one we get, ooh, we get 130 gold. Cool. And over here we get to nothing. Alright. And in here it's locked. Great. And you can't go over there either. So much treasure that I want to get, but... Sadly, we can't. And if you come on down here and try to go in here, I don't have the correct key. So, nope. No chance. All right. So, I guess we'll go upstairs and why don't we go ahead and change our class? <clears throat> Excuse me. I should have had some, like, water before I started or something, but I should be fine. But, yeah, let's go ahead and change our class. Uh, welcome to Dharma Temple. You will choose a new way of living. If you dedicate yourself to training even more than now, you may discover some unknown ability hidden within yourself. You should change away. Yeah. Definitely. All right, who here cares uh, to change the way they live? Now, uh, I guess we're just, you know, we'll start with ours first. Why not? He's a fisherman's son. That's all he is. All right, so we have certain, you know, classes. We can either do a no class, which is what we have now, but, you know, that's no fun. We have warrior, uh, which is, you know, a fighter pretty much based on HP and strength, but he's really slow, and he lacks most magic, you know, abilities pretty much. We have a fighter who has decent strength and decent HP, um, or he says the same, and uh, not as good in the MP, but he is faster, so that's, you know, kind of good. Uh, mage, you know, they're pretty quick, well, they're kind of quickish, they go down a little bit. Not a lot of HP, but they do get an MP boost, and they have more, you know, magic strength, pretty much. A cleric, which is the um, yeah, healer, pretty much, uh, not, you know, not very good in strength, higher than a mage, um, not so much an MP or HP, but they get a lot of healing stuff, which is good. Um, dancer, entertainer, not, you know, all that great. Uh, they learn, you know, special dance moves that can do stuff. Um, and their appearance goes up, which is interesting. Uh, thief, they're fast, pretty much. Uh, they can steal stuff, but not very much, you know, in the, um, in the damage or HP MP department, so I'd avoid that. The bard, which is a singer, he can learn special songs that can... Um, raise the attacks and stuff, and, uh, you know, again, not super what I would start with. A Mariner, which is, you know, he's pretty good. He's got pretty good HP, not learning a lot in the MP, and he's okay, you know, for, um, defensive-wise. Uh, we'll look into him maybe later. A Shepherd, uh, I forget what he does, really. Um, I think he's, like, uh, he, he can help with animal stuff, I guess, and he learns some pretty good defensive moves. And the Jester, which is a silly stuff, and he learns random stuff, pretty much. So, uh, I think, you know, why don't we go ahead and start with a warrior? I mean, why not? So, uh, that's, like, a brief rundown of classes, and we're gonna go get into them a lot later. I have special, uh, special plans for, uh, the classes. All right, so it is custom of Dharma that those who change classes must first purify their bodies and souls into the waters of blessed uh, of the blessed spring. Go behind the altar and immerse yourselves in the holy water. You will assume your chosen class after that. All right, let's go ahead and take a bath. Awesome. All right, so can you go in there? Yeah, nice and refreshing. All right, give me the power to kill more people. Uh, is, is that happening? Oh. <laughs> how does it feel to have all your magic spells and abilities sucked from your body? Do you still not understand how foolish you are for not recognizing the deceptions? This wonderful fountain steals the spells and abilities of any wretched human who bathes in it. Now you shall live a life of pain and suffering deep in the eternal prison. Great. Nah, that's not good. We got duped. Whoa, hello. There are more people down here. They're fishing. Okay. That's a great spot to fish. Damn it, kids. You scared my fish away. We didn't mean it. Um, wait, so what do you guys have to say? Another group of newcomers. They are second set today. Ooh, more people. 
Um, have people been trying to do this? And try to get to Dharma and they've just been sent down here by... More travelers just seen by that fake priest. That's the last thing this stupid town needs is more people. Oh, well, thank you, sir. You're a bit of a douche. What's your class? Oh, well. All right, so uh, Shifu's in charge around, uh, around here. He lives in the center of the town. Okay. He became boss by defeating up... By beating up the uh, the old one, of course. Oh, the old boss? Sound full of people manipulated and fooled by the high priest. Huh, so maybe that's the reason why no one's been going back to that church. Um, okay, that's that's great, I guess. Well, we have uh, a pile of crap and we have a bone knife. Okay, um, that's cool. Only the strong survive in this town, kid. And there's nowhere to run either. We're completely enclosed by the ocean and mountains. Now... Uh, I saw it all. You dropped right into the pond. That's Zazie, eh? Okay. Uh, don't let strangers in, so go away. Now, here, your magic is nixed. You can't use magic at all, period. No spells, no healing, nothing. No skills or anything. So, uh, yeah, it's not good. <laughs> Some old man at the bar claims he's a priest from Dharma. He's odd, though, and should probably be avoided. Okay. Now, I want to collect all the stuff that we can get from town at the moment. Uh, you'll see why very, very soon, actually. So I can't fight any monsters without my special abilities. If I had them back, those cave guardians would be no problem. Cave guardians, eh? Okay. I guess we'll look into that a little bit later. Um, let's see. We can't go into that house. And up there, there's nothing but, you know, booze bottles. Um, there is a bank here, and I'll show that to you in a moment. All right, so warriors and martial arts have it so good. Uh, no matter how weak they get, they're still stronger than the rest of us. That fake high priest is uh, gonna rog me in my spellcasting abilities. There's nothing I can do. Curses, curses. I guess she's a mage, eh? Now, we can go ahead and talk to this guy over here. Don't try anything. Give me your gold now. I'm sorry, please. I'm sorry. If you're sorry, then show me how sorry you are. Huh? Now, what the hell are you looking at? I'll maul you. Are you leaving? Say yes. Fighting this guy, you can do it. Um, it's really not worth it right now, though. Um, you have no magic, and he is pretty tough, so don't fight him at the moment. Uh, I don't think you really get anything except for maybe some gold and a little bit of HP, but that's about it. So we have an inn over here, so, you know, keep that, I'll, you know, keep that in mind. In right there. We do have some magic shops, uh, magic, the uh, armor and weapon shops, and we are going to be purchasing some armor very shortly. Now... Uh, I have, let, let me, uh, look into my stuff here. I have 254 gold, which is about what I really want, actually. Uh, now, we want approximately 30, about 3,300 gold for what we want to buy here. Now, uh, let me look in here quickly. I want to tidy up, uh, the items here, uh, for all of them. So, everybody do that, and then I'm gonna go ahead and tidy up the bag next. Uh, by, I guess, uh, I didn't want to do that. I want to do by type. Whoopsie. Uh, go by type. That'll put, like, all the weapons together and all the regular items together. So, yeah. Now, uh, let me go ahead and look at everything. Now, I told you guys to not sell your stuff. And this is, you know, why. We have some pretty good stuff we can buy. And we're going to be selling all of our stuff. Uh, yeah, we have a whole ton of... Um, we have a whole ton of sticks, weapons that we don't use. Um, uh, we have, you know, an extra bug knife that we're going to probably sell. Stone stuff. Yeah. Um, now, we're going to... Here, let me show you what I mean. Um, and let me go ahead and talk to this guy here. What is that? How may I help you? Uh, what will you buy? You have the option to buy a steel sword. We're going to buy that. That's a great weapon for Aris. We're going to do that without selling any of our really high price stuff, though. Like anything that's over um, 300 gold, we're gonna we're gonna keep stuff 300 gold over and sell everything else. And it's only 2,800. Now well, there is something else though that we want to buy too, uh, and we'll you know I'll show that to you in a moment. Come on over here, and you want to talk to this guy right over here, um, and he has a thief key, 470 gold. You want this? You definitely want to buy that. So what I'm gonna do off screen is I'm going to sell. Um, you know, everything until I have enough gold, and then I'm gonna, you know, show you me purchasing it. So I'll be right back, guys. All right, so I've gone ahead and I've sold everything that I plan to off screen, with the exception of one thing. Um, I think I didn't have quite enough. I thought I did for stuff, but I might end up selling the iron pole, which, you know, doesn't really make much difference. Um, but before we do that, I want to make certain that I've got everything I need. Now, 
uh, we've, you know, I've sold everything. I've sold all the sticks, the copper swords, everything that, you know, I, um, that I figured that I should. We're gonna go ahead and buy the thief key. And this, you know, will let us open doors and open treasure chests that we couldn't before. So, uh, yeah, definitely worth it. You need to get this, I think. Uh, there's, you know, no exclamation why you shouldn't have it. Um, and I'm, you know, still short of the goal for the, the sword, but, um, I still haven't quite gotten everything, like, all the treasure and stuff here that I could, so, um, uh, before we, you know, yeah, see, there's three gold <laughs> over there that I missed, uh, before we, uh, do the stuff, um, let's talk to some more people and get some more info and more goodies. Shiva banished soul shattering in order to, uh, protect the weak. He's strong enough to enforce a rule with his fists. Okay. What about you? No one in this town must ever use a soul sword. That's the only law Shifu upholds. Oh, okay. I wonder who Shifu is. Hello. Well, I guess we can go down here. <laughs> Great. All right. Well, here we have the, I suppose, um, the, uh, the gathering of bathers here. Yay. Let's see if we can get anything. Break all the merchandise. Hold on there. You can't enter the bath with your clothes on. If you want to go in, take off your clothes. Oh, Mary Bell. <laughs> you sure you want to do this? Ah, uh, I don't know if we can actually go in there with our clothes or take everything off. I don't know if that'll let us do that. I don't think so. Then I get to see some women here, but they all bathe when it, the men are done. God damn it. Oh, well. Ah, <laughs> uh, you perv. <laughs> Speaking of perverts, we'll, uh, we'll be looking at something else. Kind of funny. Alright, so in here we have more people and a church. We're going to be using that church in a moment. I may have uh, left my guard down before, Shifu, but you won't be so lucky this time. <laughs> Ah, uh, Shifu. Alright, so uh, that great warrior ends up here every time Shifu pummels him. Okay. Uh, have you met a woman named Neris yet? No, we haven't. Okay. Neris is a beautiful girl who lives in the south part of town. Whenever I try to flirt with her, Zaji, her brother, kicks me out. That son of a nun. <laughs> oh, that's great. Son of a nun, really? Alright. But well, we did see a, Zaz a Zazi. He uh, didn't want us in his house, so he kicked us out. So, uh, maybe we'll see him later. But anyway, we have a tiny metal back here, which, you know, you should definitely get. Uh, I guess we'll be using those in a while. Yeah, like I said, it's definitely worth picking these up. Whoops. Well, if you leave the place, you'll end up out over here. Uh, you can't use magic, though, so I would not go out there right now at the moment. Um, let's see. Now, I want to go in here next because we have some more goodies that we can look into. So, in here, we have nothing. And in here, we have nothing either. If we have any more, like, equipment that we can grab and snag, I'm going to definitely take advantage of it. Ooh, we get a War of Leaf. This thing will revive a party member, so definitely worth taking. I'd say Kasim is about the only match in town for Shifu. Rumor has it that he was once a temple guard. Oh, okay. Maybe, uh, maybe we can maybe see Shifu and see what he's on about. Uh, we have an antidote. Good. And nothing in there. Okay. Uh, let's see. What about you? Hello, sir. We're in the home of the most powerful warrior in the world. Shifu is extremely busy relaxing right now, so come back later. Okay. We'll do. All right. So in here, we have uh, nothing really important. Let's look in here first. Um, and in here, you will learn about the thief's key. Uh, if you talk to that guy, he'll say, Oh, I think, f you know, some other guy has it too or something. It's great, isn't it? I got, uh, I got it from Flower. He's something. If you've got money, he's got what you need. Oh, he got something from Flower. Okay. I don't know who Flower is, but whatever. All right, we have a uh, cleaning machine here, too, huh? I guess they had them in the sun. Chicka, chicka, chicka. Oh, okay. Uh, can you move uh, away from the thing, please? There we go. Thank you. And in here, ooh, all right. We get another horn hat, which we can sell for more cash. If you look in the bookshelf over here, uh, I picked a book entitled uh, Imperial Studies, but it was actually an adult book. An embarrassed pervert must have swapped covers. Ah, uh, Dragon Quest Seven, Dragon Warrior Seven. Excuse me. Uh, I love thee. All right, talk to this guy up here. I know I'm being punished for my sins. I abandoned my lover to change classes in Dharma. Uh, I wonder if she's still waiting for me at the inn. Oh, so you're that sea man who uh, who left uh, to do other stuff, eh? Uh, I guess that over there is Shifu, and he's watching a lady bathe, eh? Oh, okay, well, uh, maybe he's a person who's been swapping out the covers for, you know, the perverted magazines. I remember, um, I was walking, I walked, I used to walk home, like, every day, and here you can find more of them. I used to walk home, and, um, uh, at one time I, I passed a, um, a, what's it called, uh, oh, Jeez, what's that magazine title again? Uh, The Hustler. Yeah, 
saw a hustler just you know, hanging out on the side of the road, and I'm like, oh, okay. Um, I didn't take it home with me. <laughs> I'm super proud of myself, too, for not doing that. I'm like, yeah. I flipped the pages. I'm like, yeah, that's porn. Yeah, yeah, porn. Good old porn. Just a free porn. I didn't take it. I swear. Now, and here is the bank. So, if you need to deposit your stuff, you can. Um, those chests, she'll get angry at you if you try to open them. Actually, I think... It's this one that she gets angry at, like the one on the right. No, she gets angry at both of them. Okay. I want the gold, please. Oh, well, I don't know why you have this hanging out there, but it's whatever. All right, let's, uh, let's look in down here quickly next. I don't think there's anything in here worthy, but it never hurts to check just in case you miss something. All right, and over here we have more books, and we have a soldier. Okay. Well, in here we get 20 gold. Pretty good. Um... And we have an herb, awesome. Uh, anything else we're taking? Let's see. Anything in here? We get nothing. And in here, we have uh, no no special books or adult books. Okay. You have to be careful at night, youngster. You never know who's going to hunt uh, for souls. That's the only way to escape from this cesspool. Okay. What about you? No, all my precious abilities are gone. All the work and all the endless hours of training have yielded nothing. Oh, poor guy. All right, well, if you go down there, you're going to be interrupted, so we don't really want to do that just yet. Um, I think, you know, we should go ahead and, uh, let's see, how much gold do we um, have? I don't think we have enough. Um, why don't I go ahead and actually check out and show you, you know, what's over here. Um, so go ahead and buy, and if you want to, you could, you know, buy some better armor. Um, this is a little too expensive for us. Really good for Marybelle and okay for Gabo. It, you know, increases your invasion by a ton. Uh, so that's kind of nice, but it is really expensive. Uh, we have Iron Shield, which we have already. A tray, which Marybell can use, but it's, uh, kind of expensive. And bunny stuff, which we already have. We do have an iron, um, like, stuff for ours. And again, it's really expensive. Uh, so don't worry about that. And, eh, it's meh for her. You get better stuff if with the evade and... Yeah, so, uh, I'm not gonna buy any of that stuff yet, but I think the iron armor might be a consideration, um, over the evasion, but we'll, you know, we'll just have to see how everything plays out. So, uh, why don't we go ahead and, uh, sell our uh, spear. We do still have, um, a bug knife, and, um, uh, yeah, let's see, yeah, we still have that, but we're gonna go ahead and sell the iron spear because no one else can use it and it's worthless for Gabo. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and do that, and it leaves us a little bit of, uh, extra money, um, to do other stuff. And now we can f finally, finally, it took me, like, five minutes to sell everything, finally buy the steel for, uh, the steel sword, long sword for, um, for ours, and it's amazing. This is a great weapon. You're gonna be using this for quite a while, so, yeah. All right, there we go. Um, now we can't really do anything else. Uh, hammer's okay, and doesn't do anything. This thing is pretty good for Marybell, but it's really expensive. We don't have enough money, period, at all. And, yeah, we're just going to probably be finding better stuff soon anyway. So, don't worry about it now. Alrighty, now, um, I would say, hey, let's, you know, we're done here. But, nah, why don't we go ahead and, um, you know, uh, let's check out the last place that we haven't been to yet. Uh, which is down over here. So, if you come on over in here, we get a bit of a cutscene. Cool. Right, so... You are truly a master thief, Flower. Thank you. Oh, so that's Flower. He got, or he gave something to somebody, though. Well, guard, I've kept my promise. It's your turn now. Uh, yes, I think I understand. Oh. Uh, good. I've always dreamed of joining the guards at Dharma. All right. Well, in that case, I'll need one more thing from you. Okay. Uh, what? Do <laughs> you have any idea how hard it was to get that medicine? Oh, so he's looking for medicine, eh? Okay. Come on, don't get angry. You want to be a guard, no? Uh, right. See you later. Oh, okay. That was nice. All right. Well, um, let's, uh, why don't we go ahead and, um, you know, get some stuff here. Why not? Um, ooh, hello. We got more crap. Great literal crap. And in here, we get nothing. Yay, that was worth it. So we get a pile of crap and an herb. Definitely worth coming back here. What about you? You're new here, aren't you? Well, I'm the man you're looking for. Flower, my specialty is theft. But I do just about everything. There's nothing I can't get my hands on. It'll cost you, though. Oh, okay. Cool. What's down here? Ooh, well, we have, um... Oh, we have, uh, stuff to steal, I guess. Let's see. I don't think there's really anything worth taking. Not the booze, anyway. Ooh, we do have a medium metal, though. That was, like, so weird. We do have a tiny metal, though. I'm like, 
I had like to like to burp kind of ish. I'm like I really don't want to, and then that just came <laughs> really weird. Alrighty. Um, now some guy did say that a priest was hanging out in the bar all the time, and that might be him right over there. I mean, he does look like everything else. Uh, you know, the priest up in Dharma. I'm a priest of Dharma Temple. No, really, I am. I barely escaped with my life. You must believe me. All right, whatever. Well, people say to watch out for him, so we're gonna go ahead and do that because, yeah, we're just people like that. All right, so what do we, um, I guess we'll head out, you know, this, hello, well, oh, God, um, that's not good. All right, people, who dares to take the challenge? Who dares to stake their future on the soul sword? Soul sword? Huh? Eh. Well, everyone seems happy or excited to see everything. Soul sword, what's that? It's easy, just take the soul sword and shatter five souls. Your lost powers will be restored and your freedom regained. Oh, great. Oh, really? Of course, and Lord Antolia is a just ruler. Any human with the courage to take up the challenge is illegible. If everyone here is brave enough, let him step forward now. Get out, we don't want to hear anything you have to say. Huh? Oh, hey, it's Shifu. Ugh, well, don't forget this, humans. Only soul shattering will get you out of this prison. Yeah, he's the uh, the guy who doesn't, you know, con who condones the soul shattering. So, I guess he's a pretty nice guy. You know, he doesn't want, you know, people killing people. Damn monsters, come in here in broad daylight. Oh, you must be the new people I've heard about. Yeah, nice to meet you. You seem like a pretty cool guy. I've been meaning to pummel you for what? What a convenient opportunity. Oh, great. All right. Well, <laughs> I guess there's no way out of this one. We're gonna be killing these people! Alright, so, um, I guess we're gonna go ahead and just, like, you know, attack his, his, you know, bodyguards. I mean, why not? We can't use magic, so just all-out attack. Alright, and ow! And, oh, he can use herbs, really? Ah, great. Well, and, yeah, I guess we'll just take him out next. And, oh! And we can't heal either. That's not good. Um, well, I guess Maribel's toast, you know, regardless. I mean, these guys are pretty fast, and... Uh, we can't use magic either, and I don't really want to waste any herbs, so... Ow! Oh, Jesus! Ow! Look at that! That's terrible! Oh, okay, well, there goes ours. Um, great. Alright, can we at least take out the bully? Eh? A lamp? What? Oh, okay. And he's gonna heal him, which I don't know much. Can we take him out? Nope. Oh, crap. Ow! Um... YOLO! Kill him! Okay. Yeah, this is, uh, you can't win this fight. You can't do it. You gotta just take your beating and stuff. You're too nice for your own good, Neris. Uh, people like that don't deserve the time of day. What? If I had left them, they would have been raw blind. Who cares? They're strangers, Neris. Oh, well, we heard that Neris was a pretty cool girl, I guess. She was beautiful or something, so I guess she decided to save us? Is that her over there? Hello. Hey, thank you so much for saving us. Oh, you're all better feeling, or you're feeling all better. You must be very strong. You were sleeping like the dead until <laughs> we got slaughtered. Okay. I doubt that I'd be able to recover so quickly. Oh, okay. My sister should be in bed, not looking after you guys. Wow, you're terrible. Zazi? Is that Zazi or Zazi? I don't know. All right. No, it's Kasim. We saw him earlier. Are you home, Neris? I brought you some medicine. Okay. Look, it's World Dew. I know this will make you feel better. Oh, I guess she's sick, and he was giving her the medicine, eh? Okay. Oh, thank you, but how did you get such expensive... <sighs> oh, Here, I'll give it to you. Let me go, I can take it myself. Jeez, jeez, be nice. Alright, so what? Oh, sorry, here. Let's go to the other room. Thank you for your medicine, Kasim. Uh, Neris needs uh, to get some rest as soon as possible. Yeah, I guess it's true. What? I'm just worried about Neris, that's all. Okay, Neris, this should uh, get you back on your feet again. Okay. Well, that's, uh, that's good. Alright, well, hopefully she feels okay, I guess. Um, anything to bookshelf? Uh, useful plant. It's about the medis uh, medis uh, medicinal um, medicinal quality of the herbs and berries. So, like, not, like the one book that's not, you know, about naked ladies or something. Alright, so, Neris, my face is red. That's strange. I wonder if I have a fever. I'm gonna lie down in my room for a while. Oh, I think I might for something else, if you know what I mean. Oh, well, we'll just, uh, we'll look into that a little bit later. I think Kasim is fond of my sister. That's, uh, why he's so considerate. Of course, he has no regard for me. Well, you're a bit of a douche, so, I mean, that makes sense, I guess. Alright, and hey, it's Flower and Kasim again. Okay. 
Uh, you swear you'll make me a temple guard this time. Without High Priest Foss, uh, there are no temple guards. That's why I want you to rescue her from the monsters. Okay, so High Priest Foss, eh? Okay. Sure, just promise me, alright? Yeah, be, be good. But I can't imagine why you want to be a temple guard now. Just let him do his stuff. Well, you have to play the hand you're dealt. It's not like I could become a temple guard any other way. Alright, well, cool. Know how great a thief you are, so uh, don't let me down. Okay. Alright, well, if you try to leave, the, you know, he's just, flowers going to stop you, so... You just fought with Shifu, right? Uh, you didn't do too bad. Uh, we got slaughtered. He has, a uh, like, a critical hit thing that can, uh, deal 100 damage, so, like I said, you can't win. Okay, uh, I've got a favor to ask of you. The only way out of this town is through the western cave. I need someone to help battle the monsters there. I'll make it worth your while. Here, look. Okay. Well, he gives us a stone. We get the Wonder Rock. Wonderful rock. Wonder Rock. It's kind of weird. Uh, useful stone. You can heal yourself all you want with it. So, yeah. This is very useful. This means that, you know, we can survive a little bit longer uh, in battles anyway. So, odds are, at like, you know, when there's one monster left, we'll be, you know, battling... We'll be like healing like everyone after at the very end of the fight or something. So we'll see. All right. Well, um, I think we're gonna call it an episode there. We did get a lot done here, and uh, we got you know a piece of pretty cool equipment, and we're gonna check out you know the cave in the next episode. So thank you so much for watching, guys. You have an awesome day, and I hope you take care.